Hey guys, Wadok Studios here, and today we're going to talk about the new meta branch release of version 72 on Unreal Engine 5.5.0. Um, so I'll post this link in the description, but head over to their GitHub page. Um, if you haven't already, uh, you'll need to log in to your Epic account and request Git access. Um, they have a process for that. It's not too difficult to find out. Um, you can just Google it. Uh, I may actually um, put the results on how to get that done, um, but you essentially request it through your Epic profile. Um, and that's if you're, I mean, if you're more of an advanced user who wants to use source, this is going to be the route you're going to take. Um, if you're someone who's been using the launcher for a while and you're wanting to be able to continually pull updates as they come. Um, I have a video on my channel on how to go through like GitHub uh, and and do this, but basically you'll want to create a blank folder on one of your drives somewhere. You'll want to run git init, which will initialize that folder as a, a git repo. Um, and then after you run that, you'll want to add, this is usually git remote at origin, but if you want to have multiple forks like me in a single re local repo, like I have epics in the same repo, um, then you'll want to just give it a name. For me, it's called Metafork, and then followed by the link that git provides, and then you'll just do a git pull. Um, with the branch name. So git pull metaphoric slash oculus55, which is their branch name. After this is complete, you'll run setup and you'll generate your project files. And then you'll need to have Visual Studio 2022 installed so that you can open the solution and build the engine. Um, I have a video that goes over that process. Once you get done building the engine, you'll build the light mass program that's within the engine under the program section. And then um, you can launch it. Uh, it'll be inside the binaries, Unreal Editor.exe. You just launch it. Um, you could also launch it from Visual Studio. Um, and then you'll be kind of on your way. Um, Oculus does have a lot of like template projects. Me personally, I've been running this um renders rendering techniques it's again this is on their git under i think oculus examples um i have it starred here so if you go to my stars you'll see um they have a couple of different ones but it's the oculus samples unreal rendering techniques um if you don't want to deal with source and all you really want to do is use the launcher version of the engine then you can download it from the launcher go to meta's website go to the unreal unreal engine version 72 um grab that plugin and you'll need to either put that plugin inside of your whatever your project directory is um inside of a plugins folder um like this it'll be in here next to the like the portals if this was your example um or you can put it at the engine marketplace plugins directory and they have a guide on their website on how to go through that process. It's not that difficult. Um, I guess I could take you through it here on my Git repo, but it's engine um, plugins marketplace and it'll just be in here. Um, so I guess the next thing I should talk about is with Unreal Engine 5.5 comes a little bit of changes to um, your project settings for Android. Um, again, in previous videos, I've gone over the requirements. Uh, the really nice thing about the meta tools is they give you most of this in the plugin that you can just apply all and it'll it'll set these settings for you. 
Um, so this will be stuff like your metadata, et cetera, et cetera. Um, what it doesn't do though is tell like your computer the environment you need to be able to build or package. Um, so you'll need to go grab Clang. Uh, let me see. Um, I think it's Clang 14 is what it's building with now. Um, it's okay if you install multiples. Let's see. Um, I have 19 and 20 installed. It's, it's cool. Um, you can grab them both. The next thing, um, like in the previous videos, you'll want to grab Android Studio. I'm currently using Flamingo. Um, 2022 2.1 you can grab that from like the install uh, older versions off of uh, the Android St Studio website and then uh, underneath your SDK manager you're gonna want to go grab the latest um, platform build tools Let's see if I can find it just to show you guys you're going to want to grab platform 33 for sure. I want to say I have 34 installed as well. I think it might actually be using it. And then under SDK tools, you'll want 34, 33. Um, these are for previous engine versions. You don't necessarily have to have them. And then for command line tools, usually you can just grab latest and it'll install everything underneath it. Um, for me, I've been building with 17 without any problem. And then for CMake, um, this is for Unreal Engine 427. This is for uh, Unreal Engine 5.5. Uh, CMake 322 seems to be working fine with that. And then the SDK platform tools. So that should get you what you need as far as requirements go. The next thing that you'll want to do in your project settings is underneath your Android section, um, your min and max need to be 32 here. And then on your SDK, you'll want to use OpenJDK 17. Um, it's really easy to get OpenJDK. There's a website for it. My SDK API level is match NDK. My NDK API level is 32. This is crucial. If you if you go above this, you're not going to be able to do what's called a uh, launch on device or quick launch uh, using the USB uh, driver for development. Um, so the way that I develop is I have a USB uh, to US. It's a USB C, which is on the Quest to USB A, I believe, on the back side of my computer. It's really long. Um, I used to use it as a link, a link cable, but now I primarily use it for the USB driver for like quick APK deployment from the MetaQuest development hub. So you'll want to go grab that too. You'll want the Quest Link app and the development hub because this is going to let you like basically deploy and test and debug and view logs. Um, so yeah, you just point to your SDK directory. You point to your NDK directory. I have it pointed directly at 26.1.1. That's the version that seems to work with Unreal Engine 5.5. And then open JDK 17 with Android 32. Um, and again, this works flawlessly for me. I've tested it across two projects. Um, that's pretty much it. That's the guide. That's the update. It's it's pretty. It's fairly straightforward. Fairly simple. Um, I want to thank everybody for uh, being a member of the Wild Ox Studios family. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, put down in the comments anything that you would like me to discuss next. And happy developing. Toodles until next time.